Thanks. Dan O'Dowd joins us post game this evening. And this was one of those games that just didn't seem like anybody could ever get in a rhythm. And you guys were kind of behind shooting the basketball from the get go. You know, the game was very good. And uh, I, I think, uh, you know, it starts with our, our point guard play, to be honest, and, and not to lay blame or anything, but um, we just never got going on the defensive end. And, and your point guard has to kind of set the tone for the rest of the group. And I know Christian's worried about fouling and uh, getting himself in foul trouble because he's very important to us on the offensive end as well. But, you know, we always talk to our players that your defense kind of feeds your offense. And when you're sharp and you're alert, and you're playing aggressively and playing hard and playing with energy on the defensive end, it tends to carry over, and it certainly did tonight. Diaz comes out of the game with foul trouble, but it just seemed like you, what you want, I know Robert talked about, we still have to attack the rim, you still have to get in the lane, and there was some tentativeness early on with that, then he goes out and you never could kind of get back into that. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that, because at halftime we talked about that, you know, because I, I don't know how many minutes he played in the first half, but Five. it wasn't very many, yeah. yeah. You know, he had three fouls, and. Uh, we never took advantage of really attacking. But I think we had kind of gotten lulled into a little bit of a, uh, I don't want to say casual um, approach offensively, but we were not coming off ball screens attacking. We weren't attacking gaps. Uh, we were kind of our own worst enemy uh, when we closed some gaps, trying to maybe do a little too much um, to help each other. Sometimes you have to stay patient and, and stay away from the ball and, and let that gap uh, stay open see what we can attack and then and then come up the court or, or come to the middle of the court if need be but uh we just did not execute very well on either end tonight uh robert was also talking about don't fall in love with the three but when they're not guarding you you can fall in love with it pretty quick can't you well i, th I think the very first play on the offensive end for us kind of a uh, was a microcosm of it jr caught it the guys playing back off of him and he's not in rhythm and he takes a three and um just not a good shot. Not that he's not a good shooter, but we took a lot of shots where we weren't in rhythm because you mm -hmm. you start second guessing. Well, I'm I'm kind of open. Should I shoot it? But sometimes it's not in the flow. And, and basketball is a game of rhythm. And, and especially and flow. For, for guys that like to catch it and shoot it. And now they catch it and stand there. Mm -hmm. And now they got to kind of figure out a way to get into that rhythm. It, it takes their time in a way a little bit. And uh, it it it's a funny thing because it should not. You would think that it shouldn't be that hard, but it it's it's a, a difference in what they do day in and day out day after day well you have a day to practice and you got florida atlantic coming in and another uh, one of the florida schools coming up on saturday yeah they're playing well they won both their games last week uh, they were down big to uh southern miss i think 37 to 9 at one point came back and won that game so uh they'll play a little bit like florida international did tonight defensively so we've got to learn from tonight and, and really have a good day of preparation tomorrow all right, thanks so much for coming out. We'll see you on Saturday. Thanks, Andy. All right, that's Dan O'Dowd with us on our post-game report. We'll come